Hello and welcome. Today, we spotlight a few of the ways our alumni and community partners collaborate with our college. The Alumni Association's current issue of Nebraska Quarterly Magazine features our class of 1968 celebrating its 50th graduation anniversary. Their fundraiser increased the scholarship fund to endowment level. I encourage you to read about this remarkable group of architecture alumni. Whether it's funding a scholarship or improving communities, our alumni are making tracks. A lot of this is in the floodplain. Community yeah. and regional planning alum Dallas McGee had a hand in Lincoln's renaissance in his role with the city's urban development department. Dallas has worked on two downtown master plans. The 2005 plan identified a framework that ultimately resulted in $1.3 billion of investment in downtown Lincoln. It's very nice to be a part of that. Um, when you get to see a project uh, in its, as it's envisioned and then you get to see it implemented, it's, it's uh, very rewarding. McGee says the college gave him the skills necessary to understand how cities work and to influence development. Well, this is an exciting project. Our interior design students landed impressive internships across the country this past summer. Megan worked one-on-one -on -one with alum and arch-rival CEO Clint Runge in designing their Portland office. Savannah worked on sourcing materials and editing construction documents. Maggie worked at Ginsler in Denver, while Morgan interned at their San Francisco office. And Heidi was in Nashville, working on office designs for a new corporate headquarters. I'm really proud of our students for landing these internships because they sort of stretch their comfort zone and really go out and pursue experiences that it might first seem intimidating, but it boosts their confidence because they see that the education that they're getting here really is first class and competitive nationally. So when they return, they're, they're ready to kind of take anything on. The college's community partners come to us when they need inspiration. While a small percentage of student work is actually built, we are an incubator of ideas. This semester, third-year architecture students worked with the university's world-renowned International Quilt Study Center and Museum to design a hypothetical expansion. My students have worked with museum staff and leadership in order to try to answer the question of what a museum of the 21st century should be. It has been an absolute delight to have that cross-campus um, collaboration and to be able to work with the students in a new and innovative way. And so it's kind of a good like foot in the door to the kind of real life kind of work experience, I think. But it's really great to, you know, get the opportunity to develop the community I've lived in my entire life. Hi, welcome to Sheldon. My name's Abby. We're so fortunate to have the resources of Sheldon Museum of Art only a few steps from Architecture Hall. Case in point, second year landscape architecture students analyzed a Richard Diebenkorn painting as a springboard for their first studio project. I think it's really amazing that we have one at the Sheldon. Seeing it in real life was like really interesting, really cool. We're learning how to read compositional elements and principles as a way of looking at art, thinking about art, and then taking that as a language for our own three-dimensional spatial design. The yellow, you can see yeah. Yeah, yeah. Our study abroad programs continue to be popular. This summer, Brian Kelly added a model-making workshop as part of the Barcelona-Spain trip. I can't wait to see how students incorporate new tools and techniques in their upcoming designs. Plus, next fall marks the 50th anniversary of our London Study Abroad program. We'll be arranging special events to coincide with that celebration, so stay tuned for further updates. Now, some new faces to introduce. Sarah DeYoung is Associate Professor and Director of the Architecture Program. She comes to us from Texas A&M University. Zachary Porter, Bud Schenefeld, and Craig Babe also join the architecture faculty. I'm excited about the energy and enthusiasm they bring to the college. As the semester draws to a close, I look forward to the challenges and opportunities the new year will bring. I wish you and yours joy, peace, and prosperity. <laughs>